transfer from ODU. So Morgan State has the football from the 15-yard line. And the first give right up the middle. And we're going to see a lot of running the floor and some heavy downpours tonight here at Hughes Stadium. Next run straight up the middle again. Nothing there as the Great Dane defense closes the center for Morgan State. So now a third and 11 for Anthony. Dumps it off to Myrie, and Myrie is hit for a loss of two yards. Decade, he's making plays each and every time we get to watch him play. He's having a big year this year, and the handoff goes to Aiden, and Aiden gets the carry. He low starts on offense. They've been outscored in the first quarter, 17-7. to Handoff goes back to Aiden up to the 25. So pick you already 40% on third downs this season. They've been pretty good on third down. Out of the backfield, uh, the completion made there, and he loses the ball going towards the end zone. Where are they going to mark the football? That might be a touchback. Got it to Woodall. It is a touchback. Yes, it is. So Griffin Woodall, the camp, he has one touchdown this season, was going in for a second touchdown, but then just loses the ball. Yeah, it's tough because those gloves, we talked about the open as he's running, so a huge turnover. Yeah, it is, because they were going in for six, Emery. See if the Morgan can get the running game going. Bouncing it to the 25-yard line. A pickup of five yards there for Jinger on the offensive line than they normally are tonight because of injury. So Anthony will keep it himself. Makes a man miss and cross the 25 down to the 26-yard line. And their opening win over for, uh, Ford. Ten sacks in the game. They try to throw the pass out to Davis out of the backfield. Those are the type of passes I guess you can attempt in this weather of total offense the last time these two teams met. The Danes are going to keep it on the ground and a six-yard pickup there straight ahead for the Danes. So far they've kept it on the ground and they keep it on the ground again straight ahead to Williams comes up and makes the stop. He set a strong physical edge right there was able to get the guy on the ground. Aiden again runs it close to midfield and he has stopped very close to a first down a little years. Uh, he's more of a a passer but you know coach coach likes to run the rock and they're continuing to run it to number zero and Aiden with a run there gets the S teams Marshall and Hawaii they were in both of those games they really had an opportunity to maybe win both first uh, pass to pass there by Reese is incomplete Waiting for Poffenbarger Reese has time to throw on that good offensive line that Emery mentioned and almost intercepted in and out of the hands of the attended target. He was the, led the MEAC in rushing his freshman year. That's the kind of, that's what uh, Morgan wants him to get back to if he can. That is Myrie, the running back. Rain has slowed down a little bit. That's what we're gonna see. It'll be a little bit of rain, then it'll stop, and then it'll, you know, try it again. Myrie on the carry, gets a yard, and that's it. So third, eight, third and seven. Dominique Anthony, the quarterback, getting the start tonight for Morgan State. The passing situation fires downfield, looks for Pratt, and it's incomplete. It's a high degree. The teams have traded punts. Gets it off the side of his foot. Not a good punt at all. So great field position again for you, Albany. When we get back, they'll have the ball. The, the punt that went off the side of the foot of the freshman messenger. Play action. Poffin Barger to throw, fires towards the end zone, has a man, touchdown! And that is Hicks with his first touchdown. Give him the football, he was wide open on that post. Good job of Poffin Barger getting the ball down the field. Put a little bit of the ropes. They had, they had the lead twice on, against Hawaii two weeks ago. Out of the backfield, trying to complete that pass and unable to do it, and trying to get it to the They've been using three quarterbacks in every game, but I think one this season so far. There's a completion to the 30-yard line. Shortly right there, he's lined up, locked up, one-on-one -on -one versus the wide receiver at the bottom of the screen. Kinnerly made that last catch for Morgan State. And gets the ball to Matt Lowe, the tight end, who pulled that one away and got a Morgan State first down, a pickup of seven yards. Duffy to State transfer. First down for Morgan State. And there is a tackle for the loss as the defense swarms, maybe gets the back to the line of scrimmage. The rain comes down and here in Morgan State at Hughes Stadium. Dominic's pass, batted in the air and incomplete a season ago. So now a third and nine for Anthony. 
He throws the football to Pratt, who has the catch, and enough for the year. He'll go back to the running game to midfield, and that's as far as he'll get for J.J. Davis. Second and ten now for Anthony out of the gun. Good positive running play there, close to the 40-yard line. And that is J.J. Davis. You want to. Second and 20 now for the Bears after the penalty. Anthony airs it out. Incomplete. Was looking for Pratt. Anthony has time to throw, sets up the screen, and it was snuffed out big time by Hills. Hill 10 for UAlbany. Poffenbarger hit Hicks for a 30-yard touchdown. Last drive. Fires and incomplete. Was looking for Wentz again. And Shavion Morton there on the coverage downs that night. He's from Middletown, Maryland, so this is a homecoming for him in a way. And that is Aiden running for a first down. And a little up-tempo with the clock running down here at the end of the first quarter. Aiden again has the first down and picks up two yards. Ophelia has hit. New Albany with the football and a sack. Poffenbarger is sacked by Eric Hunter. Eric Hunter and William, their opening win with those 10 sacks they had in their first win of the season. Poffenbarger's pass is complete to Wentz on the sideline. Many monarchs out here. <laughs> Third and nine. Give it straight ahead. Moves the pile for two yards. Aiden in the backfield with Poffenbarger. Poffenbarger. Here comes the pressure. And he is going to be sacked. It's Elijah Williams again getting to Reese. Once a defense, they're down 7 0. Let's see if Dominic Anthony can get the offense going for Morgan State. Wants to air it out. Throws it ahead and looking for Pratt and incomplete. For the season, they had three in that Hawaii game two weeks ago in that loss, a game they were very much in. Anthony, second down, throws the football incomplete. And he was trying to get the ball can do here with a first and ten hand off to Keith Jenkins jr. running around the right side waits for a block and picks up three yards last week Deuce Taylor got the start again Deuce against Towson in the battle for greater Baltimore ten-point loss Taylor with the completion to Keith Jenkins jr. now all jokes aside if you're Deuce family and friends here went to Mount St. Joseph Richmond started at Richmond and then transferred in the portal to U Albany there is the completion to the tight end. Dop, 33% on fourth downs this season. Myrie is in the backfield, and he gets the handoff, trying to get to the first down sticks, and I don't think he got there. He didn't because he's a rainy night. It's not about fashion on this night, that's for sure. Give the Larkins his first carry of the night, across the 45-yard line down to the 46, and touchdowns in Bentley. He's the youngest of nine children as Larkin gets another carry. Almost loses the football. He does lose the football on the turf down at midfield. Could Morgan State recover it? Elijah Williams might have fell the football. We'll have to wait as they unsort the pile as Larkin see in that first quarter that would have been a touchdown and the second fumble of the night. So Morgan State, the defense comes up. And gets Kahari Finley. He has six sacks, which is High up there on the entire FCS as far as sacks is concerned. He has the most with six. The handoff up to a good aggressive attack from the defensive line as you highlighted. Here's a pass for Anthony who's back in the game and incomplete. It's not necessarily running game this season. Second and seven after a three-yard gain by Aiden. Back to him. Straight ahead and not much there. Johnson. So a third and five for Albany, who's 40% on the season from th on third downs and has the completion to Dietz. Dietz has the first down and more into Bear territory down to the 46-yard line. Set up and just headed north and south. You Albany now working in Bear territory and the give to Aiden across the 40, gets to the 45-yard line. Jack, JV. So they were shut out offensively of scoring touchdowns last week against Towson. The completion there up to the 45-yard line and getting out of bounds. We'll try to get things going here for Morgan on a second and eight. They bring some pressure on Poffenbarger. 
throws the football, and it was short because of the pressure. He was trying to get to Hicks, but there was a whole lot of bear here in the state of Maryland. It was on the big 33 team. Has the completion to Wentz. Wentz goes nowhere. Great job. Good open field. Tackle Hunter and Tolls. In Personal foul. Ruffin to passer. Defense number 22. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That hurts. It was a slow developing ride on that way. Well, they had a 30-yard touchdown pass on the other side of the field. Running right up the middle is Aiden and gets just shy of the 20-yard line. So second and two. Poffenbarger, he's going to run the football, has the first down, and a flag comes down as 1982 national title team at Penn State. They beat Georgia, the Bulldogs. Poffenberger going to keep it himself, slides down inside the 20 yard line, down to the 16. Dive, and he was able to pull it around the corner. U Albany looking to take a two touchdown lead. They're in the red zone. Play was blown up there, red zone. Larkins on that last carry. So now a second and 12. Poffenbarger to throw. Ball is tipped away at the line and nearly interception, intercepted by. Oh, try to get even better field goal position. Opalco, he's five of six on field goals this season for U Albany. Bounce him to the outside is Aiden, and he is brought down by Eric Hunter. What a night Ooh, Hunter is having. 31 yard attempt for Opalco, who has a 46 yarder this season. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So six of seven for Richmond out of the CAA, 17-10 win. And then they had their first FBS win all wrapped up, but then Akron pulled it out 24-21. And then last week in front of the home crowd, Dominique Anthony is back in at quarterback. Deuce Taylor was in for him after he got injured for a couple of plays. Here's a positive running play up to the 40-yard line is Myrie. And Gene Charles. Downhill, especially out the spread set. 35. Bouncing to the outside is Myrie as the first down and gets out of bounds just shy of midfield. Yeah, they have a lot of speed in the backfield. Not sure of his status for tonight's game. Myrie bounces to the outside and gets out of bounds a little closer to midfield. Yards out for Larry Walker, the highlight of his college career. There's the completion to Pratt all the way down to the overall by Pratt. Travion Pratt, last year at North Carolina Central. His career there, 27 catches for 300. Locker room. Anthony, time to throw, has the completion down at the 10-yard line, and Shipley, his first collegiate catch was last week against Housing. Throws it up and incomplete. He's trying to lob that, 18 points. Looks like one of the Great Danes might have jumped, throw to the end zone. Did he catch it? Oh, come on. What a catch. Game and take another look. Anthony to Crawley. No, that was oh, that's number it. I'm sorry, that was uh, Shipley. Shipley Back who had to, Shipley. to Hawaii and lost to Hawaii 31 20 two weeks ago. Pass complete to Birdie. Birdie has the grab. But what you're saying is you, Albany, is essentially an FBS program. Yes. They played well against the two FBS teams that they've played. Aiden stays on his feet, wrapped up by Noah Washington from the defensive end. Two. Yeah, no doubt. The Utah transfer. Never played at Utah, but he was there. He's from Salt Lake City. One of seven siblings. Poffenbarger to pass downfield, and the ball is nearly intercepted by Tolls. Wow. In Grambling, by the so, way. So that's, that's how big that game was. <laughs> There's the run by J.J. Davis. That's why, you know, on the MIAC coaches call. 0 for the first time. They beat an FBS school for the first time ever. And then I had to text everyone back and said, nope, sorry. My bad. My bad. Didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a run across the 40-yard line down to the 41. Back, go back toward that power run game as opposed to what we saw at the end of this, the first half. J.J. Davis straight ahead for three yards. Now you talk about Kelly. What a year he's had. He's been flying all over the field all season long. He had two sacks in the Hawaii game. He's in on that tackle as well. Yep, Kelly gets right in. On a one across the board. Third and seven for a team that's just 30% on third downs. Anthony's pass incomplete. He was looking for his favorite big left tackle, Ozzie Hutchinson, for UAlbany. 
second and seven after a three yard gain by Aiden and he gets the ball back and pushes the ball forward to the 20 yard line Jordan tolls in on the stop the three point game with that 10 to 7 third and four Pop. Poffenbarger with the pass and incomplete I think more a three point game for Dominic Anthony getting his first career college start Davis around the end, running room into U Albany territory down to the of Stony Brook coming up in two weeks. So they have four CAA teams. That is Jenkins on the run. Jenkins gets a couple. Larry Team teams in that conference coming up uh, in 2024. There's the pass almost completed at midfield, but the ball was dropped by the game that they had that really gives people problems. Coach London, the former head coach at Howard, and of course it. University of Virginia as well. Trying to set up the screen to J.J. Davis, an incomplete fourth down coming up for more and for Dewey State, where he was very successful, won three state or three straight championships and five playoff appearances. Knocked out at the 25-yard line. BS teams as well. Seven-yard pickup on the birdie catch. Birdie had four catches against Marshall and four against Hawaii, so getting close to four catches again here tonight. They could be three straight games with this. You see Nate the Marcus. athleticism crossover there as well. Yeah, did very well at Bentley for his three years that he was there. Fifth all-time rushing the football there. The completion out to Dietz makes it very nice for Reese Poffenbarger, the sophomore quarterback. A lot of weapons. That is Elijah Williams blowing that play up in the backfield. A tackle for a loss. Larkin loses a couple of weeks ago. Third and three. Hoffenbarger fires an incomplete through the hands of Dietz. And Biking accident over the summer, over the spring. Morgan State has the football and trying to run the football up the middle, tries to push the pile, and, and just a two-yard pickup transfer. So you have two ODU transfers at quarterback with Anthony on the other side, Poffenbarger. J.J. Davis out of the backfield, able to make the catch, but it's so third and nine for Dominic Anthony. Yeah. Incomplete, going to the sideline, he was through. Kayla, he makes the stop. Tolls makes the stop of Larkins on the run. But U Albany in. Poffenbarger hands it off to Aiden. Aiden gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it, outlaw. He's one of the guys pushing field. That would be a big loss for U Albany. He's really the glue that holds the offensive line together. And there is on the run, Poffenbarger gets out of bounds at the 29 yard line, but there's a penalty marker down almost by uh, you all. But even besides that, it really, you're right, hasn't been. Poffenbarger sets up the screen and dumps it off and has uh, the completion to Woodall. And there's a penalty marker down. Remember, a third and 27. Poffenbarger gonna be sacked. Down he goes. It's Elijah Williams with another sack. And he has a couple sacks here tonight. What? You put him on? Put him on, first member. Okay, of this of this season. That's Myrie on the carry. Myrie pushing the pile up across the 30 to move in those big offensive line. So first down run, and here's Myrie again. Finds the outside, has some running room, makes a man miss, and gets close to another first down, a nine-yard pickup and a penalty mark. Great Danes with the lead, heading here to the fourth quarter. Penalty marker comes down on the handoff to Myrie. You all Anthony. Ball was almost intercepted. Was trying to get the ball out to Crawley, number 10. West was dominant at Bloomsburg and moved up to the FCS level. Penalty marker comes down. The ball is thrown and incomplete. Speaking of stepping up, the sophomore quarterback with a three-point lead on the road. Hand off to Larkins up the middle to the 45 yard line before he would. How about him? He got a scholarship, um, was a walk on, got a scholarship during uh, the training camp. So that was a great news for him. And he's got some. He's wet. Third and five. Poffenbarger to throw and incomplete. Threw it into some traffic, was looking. Nick Anthony can do. Uh-oh, J.J. Davis fumbled the football, but he was able to fall right on it. He had to cut. Fumble in Akron, it was next play, he realized it, and it, just that's the type of kid that J.J. is. 
Running forward is Anthony, but really not much there as far as running. Because that had the potential to be a chunk play for Morgan State if they can't convert here on third down. Third and 11. And the completion right at the 30-yard line. Here in the fourth quarter, 10-7 lead. And there's a snap that gets by the quarterback. Reese tracks it down and just fires the football away. Smart play by the sophomore, Poffenbarger. Second down and 10. Snap good this time. And Poffenberger is going to keep it himself. Across the 40, down to the 43-yard line. Tolls made the sons of 41 yards and 54 yards. Had that 41-yarder run in, in the Hawaii game. How about that Hawaii trip? They traveled five their time, and Coach Catuso was watching the game at home at midnight. Passes incomplete, was looking for his tight end. Ian Renninger from Pottsville, Pennsylvania. <laughs> 781 points in his hoop career at Marts Hall in Pottsville. And there's Williams on another tackle. Five yards and then make the decision from there. Huge third down. Big play in this game. Poffenbarger has the completion, I think, to Hicks. Or the Dominic Anthony, the sophomore, fakes to J.J. Davis. Gets the ball out of the backfield to Jenkins. Jenkins. Plays are those 20-yard plus plays. Morgan's offense hasn't had many of them this season. J.J. Davis, a hard bears. Third downs have always been the story for them. Trying to advance drives. J.J. Davis has the first down and more. Penalty markers down. J.J. Davis into UAlbany territory down to the 35-yard line. But the penalty Hody. marker is coming. Offense, down. number 86. The 10-yard penalty. Replay third down. That's Matt Lowe. Matt Lowe has had a cut. Desperately need of an explosive play. They had one there, but then the penalty takes it away. J.J. Davis. It's to one yard, and that is it. So now a four. Fighting Scoobies. Yep. Reese Poffenbarger, the quarterback, hands the ball off. Across midfield, up and over. Goes Woodall. It's 3-0. They had a dominating win the last time they played. They shut Morgan out. Runs straight ahead, moves the pile. Up to the 40. From the 42. Woodall. He had him for a loss, and then he breaks through and has enough for the first down. A three yard. Poff and Berg, Barger going to run it himself. Hunter makes the stop. I thought he had him. Three weeks ago when they Morgan played Akron. Handoff. Woodall. Great story for Woodall, the walk on from Glen Falls, New York. Try to keep up on it, and it'll come to me. Here's the pass, high, intercepted. That's the break that Morgan need and needed, and it's Jordan Tolles. As breakup, and Jordan Tolles, new to the all Emory Hunt team, makes the interception. So we've got three guys in one. Fumbles and an interception there, and that's what Morgan needed. Now see if they can move it offensively. And running the up with the interception, giving his team a chance to try to win the game. Anthony, the pass, it's complete to Crawley. Crowley's been quiet tonight, comes up with the catch. Him. Goes to him in a crucial moment. So first down for Morgan. The handoff to Myrie, and he's leveled. Hit hard. <laughs> and Junkaj. Six sacks in the season for Junkaj. He's just been an animal. He had four, four sacks for a school record in the win over Fordham. Catch there by throw, throw of the night. Third down and two. They need a first here. Myrie trying to run it and fall forward, but doesn't. So now a big fourth down coming up back home against Villanova. Big fourth down here for Morgan. Anthony's going to try to run to get the first down and can't get there as he stopped two yards short of the first down. And he's done a great job, and this is his last season. He announced his retirement. Ball is loose. The ball is loose, and it's picked up by the Morgan State Bears. Williams knocked it out. Can you believe that? It's like Akron all over it. <laughs> the play by wow. Elijah Williams punched that ball out. They bring back, we just talked about it. They brought back Faisal Aiden into the game. We hadn't seen him all fourth quarter. And what a play by Elijah Williams knocking that ball out at the perfect time for Morgan State. Go. The Bears feeling good. The pass complete over to Crawley, who has two big catches. He's quiet. I've awakened this family crowd tonight here at Hughes Stadium. 
Anthony's pass to the end zone. He's got him down to the one. Shipley. It's Morgan State up in a great situation here. Morgan State trying to go for the win. Straight ahead goes Anthony. They have not led the entire game, and he is short of the state. Anthony under center pushes his way forward, trying to get to the end zone, and he's shy of the end zone. Doesn't get in. Why well, you to give them their first lead of the night? And then there's a penalty comes out. Illegal substitution. Offense. 12 players on the field in the formation. Five yard penalty. It's third down. What is this game? Third and goal. Anthony to throw. Wow. Incomplete. Looking he's for Pratt, and Pratt is looking. Leary, the junior. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And we have a tie game, 10-10. Is good. Is good. For time period. J.J. Davis. Not much. Hill second down now for Morgan State. Anthony fires and has the completion to low the tight end. Gets to the 20. Passing game kind of expands your offense out. There's no state Ooh, transfer is low. And then they get the pass completion down to the 15 yard line. They with the first down. Anthony makes it to J.J. Davis and now pressure and he sacked. Crawley was right there at the bottom of the screen wide open at the ball all night long. Second and 14. Anthony throws to the end zone. And looking for a pass interference call. Restriction of where they had to call the penalty. First and goal. Anthony to keep it himself and gets a yard up to the three. Case to push him into the into the end zone. Getting towards the goal line, and there's a penalty marker down, and have to wait for the call. It doesn't appear that. You see them going back to the push here. Here we go again. The push ahead this time. Looks like he's in the end zone for the Morgan State score. So if the push doesn't work once, doesn't work. And Morgan State has their first lead of the game. This one was almost fail proof because the ball was definitely. Isaac Williams has had a huge night defensively. Let's see what Poffin Barger can do. As the completion out of the backfield to Renninger and catch by Renninger. Poffin Barger. Time to throw, scans the field, goes to the end zone, has a man and the ball is dropped. Wow. He was wide open, but could come up with the grab, dropping the foot to Evan in the rotation. Poffin Barger does a good job of spreading the ball around. And that's Poffin Barger on the run. Shy of the 10-yard line gets to the 12. Poffenbarger keeps it himself. Nice play there by Javion Morton. His opportunity with the ball offensively. Poffenbarger out of the backfield, gets it to Woodall. Woodall into the end zone. This time he holds onto the football <laughs> and has the score from 12 yards out. And U Albany is an extra point away from touchdown to tie it up at 17-17 in overtime. Poffenberger to run, spins out of a tackle. And he is brought down. Elijah Williams. 17-17. Oh, oh, Poffenberger has the completion to Birdie. Birdie is brought down at the 16-yard line. Point first offensively in the 17-17 game. Woodall gets the call. The handoff close to the 10. Brought oh, down by yeah, Williams yeah, yeah. a few moments ago to match the Morgan State touchdown in overtime. Woodall gets it again. Stop shy of the five yard line. That scores a touchdown. They'll have to go for two. Woodall straight ahead to the end zone and a score right up the middle. He broke a couple of tackles and he's on the board for the Great Danes. What a run there by the freshman Woodall. Garrett drive when you see them just plowing guys off the ball. Purple hats on, blue hats, just moving guys up out the way. It made Woodall's job so much easier. He's just going to keep fighting, keep his legs pumping. With the second overtime rules, as we showed you earlier, forced to go to two after a score. There's a little trickery, throwing it back to Poffenberger, but Poffenberger is tackled short 
at the five yard line by Decius, who's not fooled. So Decius now all finals besides this one. So South Carolina State wins 31 to 10 over the Citadel. Anthony will keep it himself. Gets a couple. Second down coming up. Pratt, the transfer from North Carolina Central, probably the most experienced wide receiver in the core for Morgan State. And oh boy, looking for Pratt, but threw it over Pratt's head and almost an inter. Gotta be play high post. Second overtime and a third and ten. The pass. Oh, that's a push in the back. That should be pass interference. They were throwing it to Pratt, but it looked like to New York with a victory. Anthony throws the football incomplete, and that is your game. U Albany wins it in double overtime, 23 to 17 for their second.